Thank you to everyone who has sent in a flat earth meme to be debunked. Keep sending them in, I will add them to the list. As always, we've got a fresh meme to be debunked and this one is an absolute gem. Roll the titles. Hello everyone and welcome along to another Flat Earth Meme Debunking with me, Simon Dan. Thank you very much for joining me. Before we begin, another quick reminder that you can join the channel and get a ton of perks. Tomorrow, I'll be releasing the Saturday session early where members can see it 48 hours before anyone else. It's a special video where I interview Will Duffy, the organizer of the final experiment, and I ask him how he thinks things will go and how he organized it all and things like that. Some really interesting questions. Click the join button below to get early access to that tomorrow. Right, on with today's meme video. And as I said at the start, it's a bit of a gem this one. Now you may or may not have seen something like this before, but don't worry, debunking it now means that if you do see it in the future, you can link this video underneath it. Now it looks like this, and I have to be honest, it's a bit of a dangerous meme because it can definitely get the normal person who doesn't have much of an interest in science or space thinking about what's going on here. Let's take a proper look at it. Supposed height of the ISS, 253 miles. Commercial airplane maximum height, 7.2 miles and then they've listed the dimensions of both the ISS and a commercial airplane. Now of course the accusation here is that the ISS and the plane appear similar sizes against the moon despite being vastly different distances away and being similar sizes in reality. Of course this means to them that the ISS isn't real or that there's something shady going on. But as usual we're going to have a look at this properly and debunk this meme so everyone knows exactly what is going on. Well, first off, I think we need to take a look at each photo separately and then work out the angular sizes of the objects in question. We'll start with the ISS one. The orbital height of the ISS is indeed 408 kilometers. And if it passes directly overhead, then it will indeed be that far away. However, if the ISS is visible near the horizon, it could be as far as 2,000 kilometers away from your position. For example, the ISS passes over mean soon at a maximum height of 27 degrees. At that point, the ISS would be around 800 kilometers away from my location. I've also got a bit of an issue with the diagram because if we take a look at it, the maximum length of the ISS is 109 meters, which isn't on this diagram, something that it doesn't divulge. A little bit sneaky there. Now having said all of that, it does look like the moon photo with the ISS in front of it is quite high up in the sky. So we'll use our initial height of 408 kilometers. So putting all this correct info into an angular size calculator, we can see that the angular size of the International Space Station when seen directly overhead would be 0.0153 degrees. Now, that is slightly below my eye's limit in terms of resolving it. But using a camera to zoom in, it certainly would be possible to see it, especially in front of the moon. Now let's take a look at the plane photo. Again, planes fly at around 10 kilometers up. But if we look at this photo in particular, the moon appears to be orange. So it's very possible that the moon is just over the horizon as the sun's light is refracted and bent around the curve of the earth, making it appear that color. On top of that, if we look at the silhouette of the plane itself, we can see the tail fin. Now that means we're definitely looking across at the moon and the plane. With this in mind, at say a height of around five degrees above the horizon, the plane could be around 115 kilometers away from your location. Putting all that into an angular size calculator, we get an angular size of the plane of around 0.0333 degrees. Now, that is around twice the angular size of the ISS that we worked out a minute ago. And if we go back to the meme, the plane does look around twice the size. Now, of course, these might not be the exact numbers, but all I'm doing here is showing you how it is entirely possible to have similar angular sizes for these objects, depending on their locations at the time the photo was taken. In my opinion, the makers of this meme are using that ambiguity to make a point which normal people uh, or people that don't have an interest in space or science might make sense to. But as usual, if you dig a little deeper, it's entirely possible for these photos to be real. Well, 
there we go another flat earth meme thoroughly debunked so i've got to say we're all done and dusted for another flat earth meme debunking let me know in the comments below what you think of this one and of course if you see a flat earth meme in your travels which you think needs debunking then send it to me at simandan at gmail.com. Or of course, you could tag me depending on which social media you're viewing it from, TikTok, Instagram, or Facebook. Thanks so much for watching today. It truly is appreciated. If you enjoyed it, please do consider subscribing to the channel. Hitting that thumbs up button too would be great. We're around 5,000 subscribers away now from 600K. We're gonna celebrate when we get there. So if you do wanna subscribe, now is the time. And of course, just enough time to let you know about joining and becoming a member of the channel. Uh, as I said, the interview with Will Duffy is coming out tomorrow for members 48 hours before anyone else. Just click the join button below. I've been Simon Dan, have yourselves a cracking couple of days and I'll see you on Friday for another Flat Earth Friday where CC is back and he's still not happy. See you then. <laughs>